Welcome to the first of several examples on how to solve two-step equations with fractions. We're actually going to take a look at each equation twice using two different methods. One method will leave the fractions in the equation and solve the equation like any other two-step equation. And for the second method, which we'll show in this video, we're actually going to clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying everything in the equation by the least common denominator and then solve the resulting equation. So because we want to clear the fractions from the equation, we're going to solve the equation using the following steps. Number one, which is an optional step, we're going to build fractions that have the same least common denominator. And then number two, we'll multiply each fraction by the common denominator to clear the fractions from the equation. And then we'll solve by adding or subtracting to isolate the variable term. And then we'll multiply or divide to solve for the variable. And finally check our solution. So looking at our example, notice that three x is not in fraction form. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this as three x over one plus three fifths equals three fourths. So we're going to build these fractions. Now we want to obtain the least common denominator of one, five, and four, which would be the least common multiple of five and four, which is twenty. Another way to think of this is twenty is the smallest number that's divisible by both four, five, and one. So if we want a denominator of twenty here, we have to multiply the numerator and denominator by twenty. If we want a denominator of twenty here, we'd multiply both the numerator and denominator by four. And if we wanted to have a denominator of twenty here, we'd multiply the numerator and denominator by five, since four times five is twenty. So now we actually have sixty x over twenty plus twelve over twenty equals, this would be fifteen over twenty. And now to clear the fractions from the equation, we're going to multiply each fraction by twenty, or both sides of the equation by twenty. So we'll multiply this fraction by twenty, or twenty over one. Multiply this fraction by twenty, or twenty over one. And multiply this fraction by twenty over one. Notice in each case, twenty over twenty simplifies to one, eliminating the fractions from the equation. So now we have the equation sixty x plus twelve equals fifteen. Now remember, in the first step we said building these common denominators here is an optional step, which means if we could look at the equation and recognize the least common denominator would be twenty, we can go ahead and multiply each term in the original equation by twenty, and the result would be this same equation here. So let's go ahead and just show that. If we recognize the LCD was twenty, we could jump to the step where we had three x times twenty plus three fifths times twenty, which we can write as twenty over one equals three fourths times twenty or twenty over one. I want to show this because this would be equivalent to what we did over here on the left. Notice this first term would be sixty x. Here we would simplify five and twenty have a common factor of five. There's one five and five and four fives and twenty. Notice the result would be three times four or twelve. And then on the right side, four and twenty share a common factor of four. There's one four and four and five fours and twenty. We're left with three times five or fifteen. So notice that this equation here and this equation here are, are the same. Either way, we're now going to solve this two-step equation. So the next step, we will subtract twelve on both sides. So we have sixty x equals fifteen minus twelve is three, and divide both sides by sixty. So if x equals three sixtieths, which does simplify, three and sixty share a common factor of three, three divided by three is one, and sixty divided by three is twenty. So our solution is x equals one twentieth. Now let's go ahead and check this, which means if we substitute one twentieth into the original equation, it should satisfy the equation. So we'd have three times one twentieth, I'll write this as three over one times one twentieth, plus three fifths 
equals three fourths. So here we have three twentieths. If the denominator is twenty, we'd multiply three fifths by four over four. That would be twelve twentieths equals three fourths is equivalent to fifteen twentieths. We multiply by five over five. Well, three twentieths plus twelve twentieths is fifteen twentieths. So our solution checks and is correct. So if we go back and compare this solution to the solution that we obtained when we solved the equation by leaving the fractions in the equation, of course the solution is the same. And I would probably argue in this case, it would be easier and shorter if we just left the equation with the fractions and work with the fractions in the equation. But either way, that's up for you to decide. I hope you found this helpful.